What? What are you doing? Don't you ever sleep? What are you, some kind of android or something? What if I were an android? Would you still love me? <sighs> well, do you think you could have any feelings? Would you love me still? I don't know. Do you mind if I eat? It won't affect the test. All right, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. Just relax and answer them as simply as you can. It's your birthday. Your husband gives you a pair of Uggs. I wouldn't accept it. Also, I'd report him to the police. Your husband shows you his butterfly collection and his killing jar. I'd take him to the doctor. You're watching television. Suddenly you realize your husband is touching your arm. I'd kill him. Huh? Well, I guess I'd be scared not to love you, uh, even though you're a little cold and unfeeling. What if I was even more unfeeling, like a rock or a tree? Would you still love me? Like a human, but trapped in a tree? Yeah. I'd have the heart of a human inside of a tree. Like pumping blood through a tree. <sighs> I guess so. Like you would bleed if I cut you? Yes! Okay. Just like trees do now. I don't think trees bleed. Have you ever chopped a tree down? No. Exactly. Hello? Sophia has something to tell you. Do you hear her? I will translate. She says, deliver the message. Do you understand what that means? The owls are not what they seem. Yeah, I would still love you. How'd you get my soul out of that log? Oh, uh, uh... Well, you know, the, the Vulcan mind meld, like... Go... Oh, the thing, you know, not into that. You don't... <laughs> would you love me if I were a Vulcan? I could do it. Would you keep touching my face like that? I guess I don't have to. <laughs> it's kind of what Vulcans do, though. Good afternoon, Lieutenant Sophia. Science Officer Michael, would you like to transport down to the surface and join me for shore leave? While I find that request highly illogical, I also find it fascinating. I guess it'd be pretty cool if you were Vulcan. Yeah, we could have identical minds with the, you know, the whole Mimel thing. What if we had identical bodies? You mean like, I look just like you? No, I'd prefer that. But what if I look just like you? Hmm. Do you still love me? I, I guess so. Do you find me cute? You're okay. Give me a kiss. Um, I've got like a little uh, uh, throat thing. Give me the kiss. It's it's really itchy here. Give me a kiss. Okay. I guess I would still love you, but uh, let's not talk about that anymore with the beard and it's all <laughs> itchy and stuff. Like, I think I would rather, I'd rather kiss a fish. What if I had to kiss a fish? What if you were a fish? <laughs> 
fine. We don't have to watch Jaws again. I don't think I really like being a fish. I mean, you can only swim forward. Can't swim backwards. What if I were going backwards? Like... You were going forwards, but I was going backwards. Do you think we'd still be able to hang out? From the standpoint of reporters, <laughs> this is sort of awkward. <laughs> For the past few years, a large number of perfectly sane and reliable people have been involved in this flying saucer business. Just never learned about time or anti time in school. We read about them, talk about them, wonder about these phenomena in the skies. I mean, how can you watch all these TV shows when you already know how they'll end? We have been collecting material on flying saucers. I wonder if you could change the past for me, or I could change the future for you, or we could just have lunch. Oh, well, back to the future for both of us. That's up to you. It all began Hello in there. Hello, wake up. Hello. Hello. Ah! I just had the weirdest dream. What was it about? Guess it was about how we'd love each other no matter what. 